And Dermot's going to read the first part of this passage. We're still in Glasnevin Cemetery. Great. Fun place. The mourners moved away slowly without aim by devious paths, staying at whiles to read a name on a tomb. Let us go round by the chief's grave, Hind said. We have time. Let us, Mr. Power said. They turned to the right, following their slow thoughts. With all, Mr. Power's blank voice spoke. Some day he's not in that grave at all. That the coffin was filled with stones. That one day he will come again. Hines shook his head. Parnell will never come again, he said. He's there. All that was mortal of him. Peace to his ashes. Thank you so much. What do you think? So it's Charles Stuart Parnell, the um, parliamentary Irish party leader, um, mm-hmm. fallen um, during a sex scandal. Mm-hmm. Yep. I was going to ask you who he was. Mm-hmm. Uh, his political project was Home Rule. Uh, much beloved of the Joyces, mm-hmm. and uh, is indeed buried in Glasnevin Cemetery. He died in the 1890s. Um, so, uh, I, I've, I've entitled this uh, section of my notes. I have a little, a little song I'd like to think, sing for you. Tell me what you think of it. Okay. <clears throat> Parnell has died. Parnell has risen. Parnell will come again. This is why you want to get the Patreon so you can see <laughs> the video. Because I, I stare at you as I sing. <laughs> oh, God. Um, we'll, we'll come back to that. You might have win the Eurovision mm-hmm. again with that one. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about Parnell's place in Ulysses. This won't be the last time we talk about it. Because as I've said, he looms very large. And he kind of takes on the role as a Moses figure, as this, uh, you know legendary leader who was trying to lead his people from the house of bondage and mm-hmm. did, never quite saw the promised land. Um, and here, I think he's sort of portrayed as a Christ figure, right? Um, where Mr. Power is talking about the sort of odd conspiracy theory that uh, my source on this is the Gifford and Seidman annotation. But um, apparently people believed that um, Parnell didn't really die, mm-hmm. you know. That they, they put him in the tomb, but that he he will one day rise and come again. Right, and that's what Mister Power says, and Jack, or not Jack, sorry, Jack Power and Joe Hines. Hines very quickly says no, that he's he's in the ground. Yeah. Um. So people, there was this sort of theory at the time, as I was saying, that people thought that Parnell had gone into hiding in South Africa, mm-hmm. and then he'd one day come back. Right. Um, part of this was that Parnell died very young. He was 45 when he died. Oh, God. Um, and he died of pneumonia very suddenly. I mean, it's it's a, a span of a couple of years between, like, his the, the highest of his highs and his death. That's shocking. Yeah. yeah. So he could have, in theory, lived into the 1930s or 40s, like, yeah. easily. Like, another 40 more years could have happened, and he could have died in the thir- mm-hmm. easily in the 1930s. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, certainly lived to see the home rule bill passed even if he were no longer an mp but also, and then, also seen it destroyed <laughs> yes yeah. and that yeah and then um, irish independence so yeah um he's and he had a closed casket funeral is the other reason too he was not put on display following his death so as far as we can tell he may now be partying with tupac and elvis mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. wherever the people who fake their deaths go yeah jim um, morrison he's in there too on the island sure do people think that Jim Morrison didn't die? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Andy there's... Kaufman's there. Andy Kaufman, Jim Morrison, quite a few mm-hmm. people. Yeah. Uh, so good, good times. Uh, 